Hello and welcome to this week's issue of BRN United. I'm, I'm delighted to bring uh, to our BRN United audience uh, Pastor Sergio Sotrick. Uh, pastor Sergio is the pastor of the Grace Baptist Church uh, in Philadelphia. We have uh, about a dozen congregations that have a, a predominantly Ukrainian uh, background and Pastor Sergio pastors one of those. And recently we were talking about his church and an exciting ministry that has uh, that has recently emerged through a member of the life of Grace Baptist Church. So, Pastor Sergio, welcome, and uh, would you please kind of introduce our guest today? I'm very happy to introduce Nadia, Nadia Hordinska. Um, a few years ago, Nadia had a calling, had a passion to work with the pro-life movement, and uh, it started very small. It started just at us as a church, and it's beginning to grow more and more. And so we're very excited what God is doing in this ministry that is called Save a Life Ministry. It's becoming international. And so we would like to share that with the rest of the churches. So, Excellent. And, and part of the power of this story is it demonstrates what one church can do to make a kingdom impact. Certainly as Southern Baptists, we do a lot of ministry and mission through our cooperative program supported ministries. But many of our churches are involved locally in, in pro-life issues, crisis pregnancy, and this is an example of what one church has done and one person in that church has done by the power of God to impact this in Ukraine. So Nadia, welcome, and Thank so you. glad to have you join us this week in Bering United. How did you get involved in, in, in pro-life issues and concern about abortion? Uh, it's an honor uh. to uh, be here with you. Um, <clears throat> Actually, as I said before, if somebody would tell me 10 years ago that I ever going to do pro-life work, I would probably smile and said, listen, this is something that never gonna happen. So, but through personal experience, um, we all go through hard experience in our life. That's what happened with us. We lost prematurely 18 weeks old baby. Mm -hmm. And it was baby boy and it's in the dramatic way he was born alive when we hold him in our hands saying goodbye, he lived for an hour. Mm -hmm. And um, I saw beautiful baby boy. Uh, he couldn't survive because he was too small. Mm -hmm. uh, at that point, we didn't understand why it happened, why it with us, um, but we trusted that God had his, um, his will in it. Um, after that, we had another boy and we kind of, um, lived our lives, but then I, when I went to Ukraine uh, to sing, I met people um, who invited me to take part in a pro-life presentations in schools. So at that point, I didn't know that I go and I will take, uh, I will be singing mm. at a pro-life mm. presentations. But when I got there, I um, saw so much need. I had people who came to me, women, that had seven, eight, ten abortions in their life. And after presentation, they told, we so need this information. Nobody ever told us that mm -hmm. this is live baby. That's how we raised. Abortion was a way of life. It was life, normal. Yeah. So, so out of that came Save a Life International. Yes, so I came home and I had this burden to come back to my birth country and to bring message of life. Mm -hmm. And since then, uh, seven years passed, and I couldn't, like, I couldn't stop. You know, it's like a snowball. You go and you come back, and in six few months, six months, you say, like, um, my, to my husband, you know what, I have to go back. Mm -hmm. And that's how, it was a ha moment. Yeah. I understand why God put us through this painful experience to understand that this is a viable, beautiful baby. And at that point, at this age, people in Ukraine everywhere are doing abortion. They tear those babies mm. apart, not even knowing this is it's, it's a lie. It's a lie. Yeah. So you were sharing with me that, that there's several things that Save Life International yeah. does. Uh, tell me about the program in the schools that you're involved in. Uh, Save Life International started from schools and presentations. So uh, we formed a team that has musicians, they have doctors, we had, and in the form of a show, talk show, hmm. we presented to the audience. We usually have two, three hundred 
uh, kids in school, in universities. They all come so, so in auditorium. So this is high school and or university? It starts from high school, school and goes to colleges, universities. Mm, so okay. usually it's a kids from 16 to 20 and up, up years old. So sometimes it's a younger audience too. But what we do, we start talking about love, sex, relationship in a form of play, with music, and then slowly we start talking, we introducing them to consequences of uh, promiscuous sexual behavior. Mm -hmm. And so in, we talk to kids on their language, from their point, and slowly we tell them what this leads to leads to the baby, and then what, abortion. Mm -hmm. And st we start talking what abortion is <coughs> in Ukraine. And they are shocked. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, at this presentation, we have those bravados, the young <laughs> guys, oh, what are they gonna talk? And they, they, we show those little models. Um, if you could give me those models. Um, show, here it is. Show little models, and they just play. But you know what, at the end of the presentation, when we show the video, we had 17, 18, nine, nine year old boys crying and running out of the uh, hall. So it's touches, they will never forget so, those so it's, images. So it's information that they had not received before. Yes. Yeah. So in addition to that, I know you want to share that uh, real, uh, yeah. real quick. Uh, in addition, oh okay, yeah. Yeah, I just want to show this uh, little um, replicas of fetuses replicas at various of stages. Fetuses, yeah. yeah, so yeah. those young kids, they could touch it and yeah. see. And that's new information for yes. them. And our idea with those presentations to prevent abortions. Yeah, yeah. So. Now, in addition to the educational program, uh, you've also established, through Save Life International, some crisis pregnancy centers in Ukraine. First, first time they've had these, I understand, yes. in, in the country. Um, actually, it was we a year ago we start opening crisis pregnancy center, and this ministry went so fast. So in a year we opened two because in Ukraine there's such a need because people start coming to me and said, where do we go? Where do we get help? Mm -hmm. There is no social service. There is no um, ministries that actually would help in this area. So our first center we opened in Chernivtsi, and then in Lutsk, and now we're opening a third center in Zaporizhia. Wow. You know, this, uh, Pastor Sergio, this is a phenomenal ministry, and I think it really gives a, a powerful example of what a local church and, and a member of a local church who has a passion for ministry can do. If you'd like to know more about Save a Life International, you can go to their website, savealifeinternational.org. You can email me through info at brnonline.org, and we'll connect you with Pastor Sergio and also with Nadia. Thank you. I hope you found this inspiring and encouraging. And thank you for joining us. I look forward to talking with you next week in the next issue of BRN United.